What's up guys, Tony Watson from ProTrainBB.com and today I'm going to help you get out of your shooting slump. So let's get into it. Before we get into today's video, please follow us on Instagram where we're giving you free videos every single day. Follow us at Pro underscore Training underscore BB. All right, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you five ways to get out of your shooting slump. And I'm gonna start with the quickest way to get out of your shooting slump, and it's gonna work its way up to long-term success and consistency in your shooting. So let's get into number one. Number one, get an easy bucket. All right, so during the course of the game, you might've missed one or two shots in a row, maybe even three, and you're trying to find a way to get back on track. The best way to do that quickly is to get an easy bucket, maybe in transition, maybe the coach runs a play for you where you get a wide open shot in one of your favorite areas, but you gotta be able to get an easy shot in order just to see that ball go in. Getting an easy bucket, one bucket, can, can jump start your, the rest of your game and your overall scoring. Number two, get to the free throw line. Being able to get to the free throw line is not only a good way to get your shooting back on track, but it's another way to boost your scoring average. All right, and by getting to the free throw line, one, you give someone a foul on the other team. All right, also you can probably swing the momentum back in your team's direction and you get your rhythm from shooting. When you do shoot that free throw, make sure you have your perfect form and that you knock down that shot with a high arc and a lot of rotation on that ball so you can see that ball go in and make sure that it, it jump starts again your shooting for the rest of the game. So stay aggressive, try to draw some contact and get to that free throw line to help you get out of your shooting slump. Number three, take preparation serious. All right, so preparing for a basketball game needs to be taken more seriously if you want to get out of your shooting slump, all right? You got to get a good night's sleep the night before. You got to get something to eat prior to the game that's going to give you a lot of energy. It's going to give you the mental focus for the game, and it's going to give you the right type of fuel that your body needs to make sure that everything's ready to go. Another thing you need to do is to take your warm-up serious as well. Too many guys nowadays are going through warm-ups trying to be pretty, do all these fancy layups that they're never going to do in the game or shoot crazy step-back shots that just aren't part of their game. And they haven't shot one game shot throughout the whole course of their warm-ups. So when the game does come, that's the first time they're actually shooting a real game speed shot when they should have been doing that during warm-ups or in shoot around prior to the game or even the night before getting up game shots at game speed in those game spots. So make sure that you take your preparation a lot more serious if you wanna get out of your shooting slump. Number four, get up shots before or after practice. Another great way to get out of your shooting slump is just getting up extra shots. If you can get to the gym early before practice starts and knock down one to 200 shots before practice even gets going, your jump shot's gonna be feeling a lot better. And maybe there's times where you can't get in before practice and you can get in after practice. So once practice is over, the gym's still open for a little longer, grab a teammate, get some shots up so that you can feel good and have a rhythm going into the next day or into your next game. But you have to be able to put in the extra time to not only get your shot better, but to get out of that shooting slump and to have a consistent jump shot as well. Number five, shoot every day. All right, so shooting is a skill that doesn't come naturally to most people. So in order to be consistent and to avoid those slumps, you have to shoot every single day. And yes, that does mean getting up extra shots during the season, even on your days off. So if you're a guy who's serious and dedicated to becoming a great shooter, you have to make two to 300 shots every single day, even on your days off. And if you're willing to do that, you will see that long-term success over a period of time. Now, you might have to, like I mentioned in number four, get up, get up shots before and after practice. You may also have to get a gym membership to, another pla to other places where you can get gym access to get up those shots, places like a YMCA or LA Fitness, all right? But if you're dedicated, you'll find a way to get in the gym and get those shots up. And if you need workouts and drills to help you 
improve your overall shooting package, you will love our Perfect Your Shooting uh, program that I'll make sure that there's a link to in this top right hand corner of this video. It's a 12 week program that you can do throughout the season to improve your shooting and make sure that you avoid those shooting slumps that some, that some of us have encountered. All right, guys, if you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up below. And in the comments, let us know what other pro talks you guys want to see. And we'll be sure to bring those to you. And if you missed last week's video, a link for that is right here. And make sure you come back next Monday. We'll have a new video for you guys. Until then, perfect your game. Peace.